Hi, this is Doug Belshaw, Moodle.net lead here at Moodle HQ. In July 2018, we've been working with Outlandish on some of the user flows for what we want to see in Moodle.net once it's all coded up. So this is a prototype on how Jeremy, a user, can add a resource into a collection. Let's get started. Jeremy is going to sign in with his Google account. He's got several, so he's going to click on the one which pertains to his institution, his school. He clicks on there and he's taken immediately to his communities. These are ones which are featured across Moodle.net, but he's got one that he's already joined, which is the Red Group. He clicks on there and he goes into the Red Group and he's a member and he can follow any of these collections. Now, he's re relatively new to this particular community and he's been following Russia in Revolution, which is being curated by Brian. He's the only person who's putting things in there, but 14 people are getting updates as to when Brian adds or removes resources. Jeremy has a look at these resources and realizes that he knows of one which would be of great help to Brian and to other people who are teaching the same kinds of things as him. So he clicks on add resource and he copies and pastes using the built-in functionality of his phone, the web address of the particular resource that he wants to add. In this case, it's from OER Commons. When he presses go, Moodle.net automatically brings in the title, the description, and the image, if it can, from that resource. Jeremy can add or remove from that title and description and can change the preview image. Once he's done that, he can click to confirm that the resource complies with the Moodle.net code of conduct, click add a resource, and there it is. It's got the title, the image, and the description. It's been added by Jeremy, and there's a little heart button so that people can like or favorite that to show their appreciation later on. When he goes back into the collection, he can see that that particular resource has been added to the top of the collection so that not only is he listed um, on there, but also Brian. So there's two contributors now to this particular collection. There's a notification at the bottom, so if he clicks on that, you can see that the Moodle bot has said, nice one, thanks for adding the resource Runaway Russia to the collection The Russian Revolution. If you've got some feedback on that particular user flow, if you've got some suggestions, we'd love to hear them. So please do add your comments to this YouTube video or anywhere that it's embedded around the web.